Welcome to episode 56 of the Isle of Paradiso Bunch. We're still in Egypt with Craig, Merrill and Muriel. In the previous episode we saw Craig working on a chain of adventures. We saw him read a book so he could teach a sim to cook to assist his love life. This whole episode is going to be devoted to Craig and his pursuance of this particular adventure chain. After finishing reading the book, Craig set off to find the sim that he had to teach how to cook. And here he is running off to do that. So he found the sim in the desert and I think this guy was stuck so I reset him. Hopefully it doesn't wreck the adventure chain. But he gave Craig the next part to the adventure which is where we're going to start for this particular video is from here on. The key to her heart. You have read the book so you know how worthless it is. Anyway, while Salah Kamal has been wasting our time, I've been doing some digging and found out that one of Queen Hatshep's secret lairs is beneath one of the houses in this very town. You should go check it out for clues. Enter the secret hideout of Queen Hatshep Soot. Recover anything of use there and return to Salah Kamal for some visa points and simoleons. But Craig was very tired so he went back to the base camp. And that was where we left him in a previous episode. And then we went off with Muriel who was doing some searching for beetles and which she didn't find any of but she did find other things and explore a few tombs. But now we're picking up from here at the base camp where Craig is going to have some breakfast and clean up and then he will go to look for the key to her heart at the secret lair underneath one of the houses in Egypt. So there is Muriel. She's cooking something for breakfast. And one of the other adventurers is there, keeping an eye on things. To get her to go back, she's just going to walk off and leave the ingredients sitting there by the look of it. That wasn't be, wouldn't be a good move. It's very busy at the base camp, but we're here for an adventure, so we'll leave them there and go find this house. There it is, the key to her heart is in that house or underneath that house and Craig is now setting off. The Amin household at 40 West Riverview Place and it is the house with Queen Hatshep Soot's hideout underneath it. And Craig is going there, he's going to try to gain entrance to the house. He actually needs to go into the garden, just as you can see almost in the middle of the screen there's a hole in the floor which is in the, on the ground in the garden. When he investigates that hole in the floor a set of steps will appear underneath those floor tiles, four floor tiles. So he's advertised his presence to the occupants of the house and there's pink hearts. Craig is now going to go and inspect that hole in the floor. There's the steps. So you can go down those steps now into the secret hideout. Find what he can find. There's a crescent keystone and a pile of ancient coins looks like some sort of sarcophagus fragment on top of that other pedestal. So he can use that keystone that he just found 
in that keyhole there it requires a crescent shaped keystone and there's a little door on the right just beside him and it's just unlocked the chain that was across it so he can go through that door now and into the next room I tested all those lights and nothing that he, there's nothing there that he can pull he could move some of those statues but it's just a way of wasting time so now he's gone through the door and he's into the next room which has got the chest containing the object he needs to collect So it's got the key to her heart and it looks like it might be Jade. Now I better go through that little door and see what else he can find. Now that toilet must have been put there for a reason so let's use it and find out. And when he flushes, the hidden door is revealed. So you better go and open that door now. See what treasures are in there. There's a treasure chest. Looks like a piece of dive well. So he'd better go and report in with his keystone. Don't want to be bothered with playing with those statues, that just wastes a bit of time. You can move them all eventually if you want to, but that's all you can do. So Craig can go off now and report in with his keystone, the key to her heart. That's where he found it just beneath that house. He's got to go back to Sala Camel. There she is waiting for him. I think what the difference about her is she's got her hair down. I usually see her with her hair up. I thought she looked like she'd suddenly got old, but she was old all the time. Love in the servants' quarters. This key! I've seen this symbol before outside another area. I bet this opens the servants' quarters for the Queen. There are sure to be more clues there. I'd like you to enter the temple of Queen Hatshepsut, explore the servants' quarters, and bring back any clues you find there. Objective. Enter the temple of Queen Hatshepsut, explore the servants' quarters, and bring back any clues found in chests to Salakamal to earn some visa points and ancient coins. Well, visa points and ancient coins will be very useful. We'll leave Muriel and Meryl at the base camp while Craig rides his Ken Spa out towards the temple of Queen Hatshepsut. And when he gets there, we'll make his way to the servants' quarters. There's the temple. And now he's put the keystone in the keyhole already and opened up that uh, staircase but there is a hidden door just behind that wall or in that wall that he's searching at the moment so we should go in there and investigate to see what he can find there'll be some sort of treasure there for sure so that door didn't take too long to open now he's or to find now he's got to try to open it It's fairly quick there as well. It didn't cut anything out of that. It just opened. Now this is funny. Just watch what he does when he goes to clear this rubble pile. Because remember, we've left Pangu's axe behind. So 
So he puts his hands up to get the axe and then realises he doesn't have it and blows a raspberry. And then he has to resort to the pick. He seems to have enough experience with that pick now that he doesn't take him so long to actually demolish a rubble pile. Unless, of course, that was a very easy rubble pile. So he's found some more ancient coins and there is a treasure chest in the corner for him to have a look inside as well. Moon cut something. That's probably quite valuable. Another set of steps there, just check for hidden doors, then give up and go down the next set of steps. Now I discovered when I was going through this particular part of the tomb that it seemed to lack treasure. This particular version of the world is very poor. Muriel couldn't find her beetles yesterday and these rooms have usually got lots more in them. But they're practically empty. They're not totally empty, thank goodness, but there's not much in them. It's not worthwhile. Actually, some of the rooms just don't have anything in them to find. No point even going in there. That pedestal should have something on it, but it isn't. It is something I've re-recorded and it is an older save that I've opened up so I don't know if that makes any difference. But I'm sure there was a lot more treasure in here when I did it originally, just I didn't record it very well on the video. And there was no video sound either. Nothing in that room either. There should be things on that bench. Not much point of going in there, there's nothing there. But you can investigate that other wall. There's a hidden door in it for sure. if it opens any faster when he talks to it. Huh. Looks like he's found it. And he sounded like he said something about found the door just then. Another jewel. Let's see what I can find. Another door to inspect. It's pretty disappointing the lack of things that he's finding in this part of the tomb. I hope the rest of the tomb's a bit better, but I suppose it won't be. Looks 
like I had my frames per second counter on when I was recording this because up in the top right hand corner it's counting the frame rate of my computer at the time that I recorded this. So he's come across some more steps so down he goes further into the tomb. This is the servants quarters in Queen Hatshepsut's temple. Looks like the servants each had a tiny bedroom with a single bed in it. <laughs> Just use the stairs. There's no hidden doors we can find. Sometimes there are hidden doors but you can't find them by clicking on the wall. You find them by other means. There's a doorway there in the middle. It looks like that's about the only way out of here. And it's not locked, thank goodness. And he's found Queen Hatshepsut's bedroom. There's the treasure chest. found the relic and some other treasures. Now he's got to deliver the relic back to Selha Camel. Might as well have a bit of a look around while we're here. We can try out the bed, see if anything triggers. Doesn't seem to be anything I can find this time through anyway. Guess if he was really tired he could have a sleep there. Be more comfortable than some other places he might go to sleep. But he's not really tired so he can just deliver the relic. I think it's always dangerous though to just click on the deliver relic button because sometimes you'll run out the wrong way and if you'd gone out the right way which may have a locked door in between where he is at the time and the out part of it so if you go out the other way you can often find extra treasures hidden so that deliver relic button is a dangerous thing to see although I often use it but I'll often use it later in the process. I'll see if I can find any other way out first, often. Doesn't seem to be anything for him to find this time on the way out. That room looks interesting but it doesn't seem to be able to get into it at this point. Now at this stage this is when I would consider clicking deliver relic but we'll see what happens. So here it is heading back to report in after completing the adventure of the key to the servants quarters where he's gone and searched and found a relic to deliver. It doesn't look to be quite so hot in Egypt today. I can't see the heat haze off in the distance. So I might as well watch him run and enjoy some of the scenery quite green down there. That must be just along the river bank. And here he's arrived to report in. Wonder what she's going to get him to do next. Promoting Anwar. What's this about? Hmm. 
Hmm. This isn't decisive proof yet, but I will keep this relic and see what other secrets it holds. I'll get back to you on that. Meanwhile, my friend still needs some help. Your previous efforts haven't helped him much, but I have another idea. Perhaps you could use some of that foreign charm and tell at least five locals about Ahmad Diab and how he is so awesome. And then tell Ahmed Diab what you've done, as the reward will no doubt be grand. Craig collects his reward from Salah Kamal and then heads off to the market where he's sure to find five sims that he can tell all about Ahmed Diab. Embarrass the poor bloke. So here we go at the market. Craig approaches all of the usual sims because they're captives at the market, aren't they? They can't go get away from him. He's going to learn a song. That's always a good way to get to know another sim or beginning a friendship. And then you can use that song many times to uh -huh. get to know sims in other worlds and teach them that song. Does he? He's almost knows it. So that little green bar above his head, it's almost to the top. Spread good rumours, that's what he's doing now. <laughs> Wish you could make up his mind if he's in or out of the sun with that umbrella. No, Craig, you're not going for a swim. So it looks like there's one sim he has co told about the good rumours. There's another one now. Turn that music off. It's too loud. Me up, sir. Vod. Mac Norris. Sardoki Smar. We'll get him to spread the good rumours amongst all five sims and then he'll get another adventure but we won't do it. So we're getting close to the end of the video now. So he's making friends here by the look of it. Nice positive blue plus signs above his head. More hearts. So Craig has something to eat from the food merchant and then he just visits various merchants at the market and talks them all into believing him when he wants to spread rumours. <coughs> Some of the merchants are starting to remember him 
from the last time he was here trying to convince them of something. Now, off across to the other side of the market to find somebody else to talk to. There's nobody swimming in that little pool at the moment. It's unusual. Darny yard. Zine. Wobigla. Barbel. Webzine Nabola. Haba. Or Herbo. He's a vomit dick. A newbie. Ab Kobina Shasha. Sadu? Ziba Du. Nibkra. Ushwa. No, he's just got one more to convince and he's decided he's going to charm a snake instead. That is one of his most annoying habits. I should take that basket away from him. But then I think snake charming is good as well. But not the way he does it every time he stops an interaction. He decides it's time to do some snake charming. So he's got one sim left to convince or to spread the rumours to. At least he's spreading good rumours. <laughs> Let's walk around it 30 times before we start talking. Got to get in the right spot. Ribadu. <laughs> Ma, Danny. Uh huh. Sasume Bonita. Shibo Nibagi. So that's it. He spread rumors to five Sims, and now he's got another adventure. Love is bizarre. And I think we will do that adventure in the next episode. So that would be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye for now.